Hey everybody, Dustin Dales. I'm out here at Omaha Comic Con. All sorts of great stuff you can check out. We got comic booths as well as some cool entertainers you can meet. We got some actors in here, some writers, all sorts of great stuff. I'm joined by two of those right now. Uh, you definitely want to check these guys out. If you're familiar with Mystery Science Theater, you know Frank Conniff and as well as Tracy Boone. Hey, hi, how you doing? Good, good. Now, uh, how's Omaha treating you guys? Great. We've only been here for like half a day, but <laughs> uh, we've seen uh, the airport, the hotel, and this building. Well, hopefully they get you some good lunch today. I, I'm looking forward to that. Lunch. I've, we get lunch, Frank. Are they taking care of your lunch today? Yeah, yeah. They're taking good care of us here. Well, that's good. That's good. Now, obviously, you guys had a huge show that became a cult classic, uh, Mystery yeah. Science Theater. Did you think Mystery Science Theater would blow up the way it did, Frank? No, uh, I don't think uh, any of us did. Trace was there at the very beginning, and uh, I don't think they thought it would go beyond being a local show on a local television station. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're amazed to be doing it uh, 25 years down the road and still have uh, a strong following. There's more and more people who are getting into it all the time. Young kids, old people, it's, it's uh, timeless, you might say. It is very timeless, that's sure. I still hear people talking about it. Even people that didn't watch the show back in the day, they're watching it now and they find it fascinating. Uh, I think uh, thanks to um, the internet and YouTube and DVDs and all that stuff, more people uh, watch the show now than, than ever, than, it was, than when it was on the air, absolutely. Now, it's funny you mentioned YouTube, because I was kind of curious. As I watch YouTube videos sometimes, I start to get these own little commentary in my head. Do you guys get that way when you watch YouTube? Uh, do I get a commentary? Your own little commentary in your head like you did for Mystery Science. Too. Sometimes, you know, it, it depends on, uh, on what I'm watching, <laughs> you know. But if, I, if I'm watching a cat video on YouTube, the only uh, commentary I ever come up with is, Oh, that's the only riff I ever come up with watching a cat video. I think that's a mutual feeling across everyone. Now, you also worked on America's Funniest Home Videos as a writer. That is true. I've done a lot of mocking of videos in my life. Movies, people's home movies, uh, kids falling down, kids skateboard accidents. Um, Funny stuff. But I, you, can't, <laughs> you can't argue with pain. It's just people like to see other people getting hurt. Now, if there was a movie within maybe the last five years or so that you think would be perfect to have a nice another session of Mystery Science Theater, do you know? Do you have a movie in mind? Oh, uh, we're looking forward to watching uh, Superman v Bat, or is it Batman, Batman v, v Superman? Superman. I got to get the order right. A uh, lot of people have told me that that movie is per would be perfect for Mystery Science Theater. I'm sure the Rift Tracks people are are doing a riff of it as we speak. So. Um, uh, yeah, Frank, stuff Frank like and I that. just watched Independence Day, the new one, mm. for our podcast, yeah. which is coming out next week, and that's pretty terrible. <laughs> that's uh, the first one looks fantastic in comparison. It, it is hard to believe how different the first one is from the second one. Yeah. Well, it's good and bad. <laughs> it's it, it's night and day. But good, and bad in a good way, right? Yeah. The first one was bad in a good way. Yes. The second one is bad in a bad way. It's just bad. <laughs> it's pointless. Now these days, people can also catch you guys on the road doing some shows as well. That's true. We're, uh, we'll be at the uh, Voodoo Comedy uh, Lounge in Denver uh, July 29th and 30th, and in Durham, North Carolina at the Carolina Theater August 5th. So Frank, tell me, what, what can they expect with this kind of show that you guys are doing? Um, well, we show... Um uh, usually an old um, a movie from the 50s, kind of like what we did on the original Mystery Science Theater. And, uh, and also we, we usually show a short film. Um, it very much has the feel of the old Mystery Science Theater 3000, those kind of uh, 1950s B movies. Um, a lot of people now do riffs of more modern films, but we, we're, we're still very attached to that era of, of B-movies. So it, it really is a lot like Mystery Science Theater, except it's just the two of us, um, and with a live audience, which, which makes it even more fun. Yeah, just a lot of fun, no robots, no, no, no costumes, just uh, us and a movie. Is it a new movie every time? We try to make it a new movie every time we come back to a city. So if like in us, Denver, it'll be all new. Yeah, if you see us in a city and we're doing more than one show, if we're doing two shows, or four shows, it's a different movie each show. And uh, how can people keep in touch with you guys on social media? 
Uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah, the Mads are back is our Facebook page. And we have a new Twitter account. Uh, the, is it the Mads are back on, on uh, Twitter? And then I have my uh, Twitter account, Frank Conniff, uh, at Twitter and my Facebook page. And uh, yeah, we're just all over. So I'm on Instagram now. Alert the wow. media. <laughs> wow. And if yeah. you're looking to book us, the Mads are back. Uh, go to our Facebook page and contact Zoe, who is uh, makes it all happen and makes it all work for us. Well, thank Frank and uh, Trace. I appreciate you guys joining thank me. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Hopefully, Omaha treats you well, and you guys get some lunch we in love, you soon. We Hi, love Omaha. Omaha. <laughs> we love Omaha. Omaha's the best. They are Frank Conniff and Trace Malou. You definitely want to check them out, and make sure you catch them on the road as well. Make sure you stop out in Omaha Comic Con and find them here as well. Take care, guys.